Now in this workout we're going to look at hurricane training. This is a method of high intensity interval training made popular by Martin Rooney from Training for Warriors. The workout consists of three blocks. So you've got the first block of three different exercises and you're going to set a timer for 30 second intervals. We've got exercises A, B and C. Exercise A is the more high intensity exercise such as burpees in block one. And this exercise will be continuously performed for 30 seconds. Then you'll move directly to exercise B and you've got 30 seconds to perform 10 reps. If you've performed the 10 reps before the end of the 30 seconds, just rest, wait for the bell for the next interval and then begin exercise C, which is also for reps. You're going to do the pike up for 10 reps. If you complete that before the 30 seconds is up, rest for the remaining time and then repeat the block again. Go directly back to exercise A and you will complete three rounds altogether of block one. Then you can rest for 30 to 60 seconds or however long you need, depend on your fitness level. And then get ready to start for block two and continue in the same format as before. Then after block two, you take your rest and then move to block three and continue in the same format. You may substitute any exercises if necessary. If some are too difficult, make them easier. If some are too easy, you can make them a little bit harder. If you don't have equipment such as the TRX or the suspension trainer for the inverted rows, modify uh, your equipment at home or change the exercise completely. The same with the uh, reverse hyperextension. You could use a table at home or a bed or a chair. It's possible to modify some equipment, the end of the couch, or you just change the exercise to maybe a back extension as a, a, an alternative. Let's take a look at the various exercises in this workout. The first one is the burpee. You're going to place your hands down on the floor, shoot the legs back, come back to your feet and take a jump up in the air. This exercise should be performed for 30 seconds completely. Next exercise is the push-up. You've got to keep the elbows tight to the body. Keep a nice straight torso throughout. You're going to keep as good quality of form throughout all the exercises as you possibly can. If you complete the 10 reps before the 30 seconds, you can rest until the end of the interval. Next is the pike up. You're going to extend your arms out overhead, legs straight. Then as you bring your legs up and your arms up at the same time, you're going to crunch up and reach towards your toes. Again, complete 10 reps, and if you do it before the interval is over, you can rest until the end of the interval. Then you're going to go back and repeat all the exercises right through once again. So you're going back to the burpees and then complete for three rounds. So in block two, exercise A is the get up, get down. It's a modified version of the technical stand up commonly used in Jiu Jitsu practice. So you're going to place one hand on the floor. Then your back leg will sit through and then you'll whip over to the other side, place your hand on the floor, elevate the hips and pull the leg back behind your hand. So you want to try and keep a good motion in this uh, exercise. Keep the intensity up as much as you can, getting up and down off the floor as fast as possible. You may need to practice this exercise on its own first just to get the coordination. You can do it nice and slow just to build up the proper technical ability to be able to do it at a fast pace during the workout. So next is the swim push up. So place the legs as wide as you can apart. Your hands are about shoulder width. You're going to rock your body back, lower your head towards the floor and extend your body across the floor and then push up off the floor again. Perform 10 reps. And if you complete them before the 30 seconds, then rest until the end of the interval. The next exercise then is the alternating toe touch. So you're going to have one leg up in the air and touch with the opposite hand as you crunch up towards the leg, alternating over and back. Again, with this exercise, you will have 16 reps. And if you finish before the end of the interval, you can rest until the bell. 
And of course the block will be repeated for three times. So once you complete the exercise, continue directly back to exercise A and then continue again for three times. So now let's move to block three. The first exercise is the hand spin. So you're gonna post on your hand, switch to the other hand and rotate 180 degrees. You're trying to keep the outside leg up and the rear leg is extended back. Post it on those hands, whipping side to side and try and generate as much speed as possible. Complete them continuously for 30 seconds. Then move to exercise B. Exercise B is the inverted row. If you've got the suspension trainer or you can modify with a bar across chairs or from the end of a table. It's important here to completely stabilize the body. Try to not have any movement in the spine. The only part that should move is the arms. Pull your chest directly in between the grips. To increase or decrease the difficulty, the more vertical you become, the easier it will become. And the more horizontal your positioning is, the harder the exercise will be. So adjust as you see fit. And of course, complete 10 reps. And if you finish before the 30 seconds, rest until the end and be ready for the next exercise. So now we'll use the reverse hyper. This is where we extend the legs back. So you're going to take a grip on a surface like a table here. I'm using a box. You can use a table at home, a bed, maybe the end of the couch. You can come up with some alternative arrangement of how you can perform the exercise. However, we will extend the legs back, trying to engage the glute muscles and the low back to make sure that you can elevate your legs strong and efficiently. And perform again 10 reps. And if you finish before the 30 seconds, rest up until the end of the interval. Now, if you don't have a suspension trainer or an area where you can do reverse hypers, you can modify or completely change to a different exercise. So here we add the feet elevated push up. So generally, if we want to use row or pull exercises, we will need some kind of bar or something to pull off the floor, like a chin up bar or a suspension trainer. So it's a worthwhile investment to get more options for pull exercises. Then another option we have for the core is going to be the back extension. So we place our body on the floor, looking towards the floor, and then we're going to extend our arms up and our legs up at the same moment. Keep your hands around you at your temple and you're going to extend. Try not to hyper extend too much, but it's going to be another good alternative for a core exercise. And you can add in any exercise you want. The general format will be that we have exercise A is a kind of cardio high intensity exercise. Exercise B will be a push or a pull and exercise C will be a core exercise. The full workout should take approximately 15 minutes and 30 seconds if you follow the protocol as described. If you need a bit more rest, it can just take a little bit longer but uh, just work your way through it the first time, maybe the first time you do it, add a bit more extra rest. Be sure to complete a full warm up in advance and a cool down afterwards. Check out some of our other videos for some tips on warm up and cool down activities. And have fun with the workout. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and follow us for more great content. Thank you.